Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching L'Oreal TV. Hi, this is Tim with Morial TV and Morial Radio here live with James Jacob Prash in England via Skype. Jacob, one of the believers had the question based on Luke 18, 18 through 27. With the parable of the rich young ruler, did Jesus teach that people can merit, merit eternal life? A ruler questioned him saying, good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother. And he said, all these things I've done from my youth. And when Jesus heard this, he said to him, one thing you still lack. Sell all your possessions and distribute it to the poor and you shall have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. But when he had heard these things, he became very sad, for he was extremely rich. And Jesus looked at him and said, How hard it is for those who are wealthy to enter the kingdom of God. It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of the needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. They who heard it said, Then who can be saved? But he said, the things that are impossible with people are possible with God. Jesus pointed to the Torah. The Torah means the way. It pointed people to the Messiah. And so on the basis of the Torah, he came to Jesus and said, I've kept the Torah. But then Jesus said, one thing you lack. Not that he broke the Torah. But now that you've come to me, you've arrived at the destination the Torah was leading you. No man can serve two masters. What is your God? Is your God wealth or is your God me? For another person, wealth may not have been the same issue, may not have been the same problem. Anything in our life that is more important then our relationship with the Lord is an idol. That's what the Lord was dealing with. He was not by any means saying, you can be saved by doing these things. The Torah simply points us to Jesus, who saves us. But before Jesus could save him, Jesus had to say to him, am I more important to you than your wealth? Only if you say yes and are willing to put your wealth on the altar, can I save you? That's the context. He was not saying you can be saved by works or your own efforts. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. 
The first being the dilemma of Laodicea. The dilemma of Laodicea. It's an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be shadows of the beast. Shadows of the beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen. Will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, the Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.